Traders, today's video is going to show you a new feature that's come to our screener tools, and that is the capability to add in a watch list that you've created into the screener. So as you can see here, there is a button on the stock screener in this example that says watch list. But keep in mind that as you use our screeners, we're on stocks now, let us go to crypto coins as well, you'll see the watch list button again. And in addition, if you go to ETFs, you'll see the watch list button again. So this feature works for stocks, ETFs, and crypto coins. So you can now import all of the hard work that you've done to create your necessary watch list. So you can see our watch list here. And if we click this drop down, we can see all of the watch lists that we've created for this video example. Now, for those of you who are new to TradingView, if you haven't created a watch list yet, it all starts right here at the top right where it says watch list details and news. Click this button, then you'll see a drop down here. Click that drop down and create a new list. You can give that list a name and then start adding symbols immediately. Once you've created that list, you can import it into the stock screener, the coin screener, or the ETF screener. Why does that matter? Why is that powerful? Well, that is powerful because, for example, if you have a large watch list and you want to narrow that watch list down, say you watch it daily or weekly, you have 50 plus symbols, maybe 100 symbols on this watch list that you track for trades and ideas, you can add that watch list to your screener and then add these specific parameters to it to narrow it down. So here's a great example. We have our watch list selected. We have a watch list called markets. We're just going to use that for now. We can see here because we're on the stock screener, it's pulled six specific stock symbols from that screen, from that watch list. And now what we're going to do is add a filter to it. We want to see every symbol that's down on the day. So let's collect 0% and below. So we now have filtered our watch list a little bit more. It went from six symbols to four symbols. Now we can add another feature. Let's only look at the symbols on our watch list with a market cap that is between 10 billion, or let's do 200 billion and above. In this case, all four symbols are still here because we have Apple, Google, Amazon, and Tesla. These are large cap companies, but we've added these filters so that if we add any additional symbols to our watch list, well, in this case, it will get narrowed down thanks to our parameters that we've selected in the screener. So you can start to understand just how powerful this is. You've got a watch list that you rely on. You've got a watch list that you watch all the time. Now you can add some screening capabilities to it by clicking the watch list button and selecting the watch list of your choice. Now this works for any watch list that you've created. In addition, if you wish, you can create specific lists as well based on the flags that you attach to each symbol. So of course you'll see our watch list here. You also see red list. Well for those of you who are unfamiliar, did you know you can flag these symbols with specific colors? And you can add these color flags all around your different watch lists and then essentially when the time comes you can actually add these color flags that you've coded on your watch list here or selected and run them through the screener as well. So we added NVIDIA to our blue list, QQQ to our purple list, and check it out. We've now got these flag lists that we can also put through our screener. So this is a very powerful feature. It is gives you the capabilities to narrow down these match, massive watch lists. Now you may notice not all of these symbols are showing on the screener at this point, and that's because we have commodities, ETFs, stocks, crypto, and more. But if we, for example, now go to our ETF screener, let's leave and head to our ETF screener. Let's go to our watch list. Let's click markets again. Check this out. We see all of the ETFs from our watch list. And if you pay close attention in this watch list called markets, you'll see we have US sectors here with all of these different ETFs. So always keep that in mind as well. You're going to want to use the screener that fits your needs best with that specific watch list. If you want to see ETFs, be sure to use the ETF screener. If you want to see crypto coins, be sure to use the crypto coin screener. If you're planning to use stocks, use the stock screener, and it all starts and ends with this watch list button because this is where you can screen the watch list that you make. So once again, let's just quickly cover why this is important. Well, you've spent the time to create a fairly massive watch list. You have put in the hard work to narrow that watch list down. If you're like us, you have 
several different watch lists available to you. But rather than sorting through your watch list each day like this, maybe you have some specific sections that you've created as well. So we've got these handy little sections here that we can, you know, expand or 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 make a little more condense but let's expand these one more time but we put some work into this watch list and now we can run it through our screener and add some ultra specific parameters using our screener to ensure that we are tracking the symbols that we want to track so we're looking at US markets we have our watch list called markets selected and of course why don't we add one more filter how about the fact that we only want to see the ETFs on our watch list with assets under management over 10 billion. It's just gone from 15 symbols to 13 symbols. So we can work our way down these parameters to narrow down our watch list, looking for ideas, looking for trades, looking for setups, or maybe you just want to uncover what's moving on your watch list because it's fairly massive. Now, recall a few basic points here. You can get to your screeners from the products menu up here. Screeners, select the screener of your choice. Remember, this feature currently only works for stocks, crypto coins, and ETFs. Once you've selected the screen of your choice, find the watch list button, select your necessary watch list, and then you are off to the races. Now, if you need more information, if you're new to the screener and you want to learn how these screeners work, go to our help center. We have a ton of information and helpful tutorials there to show you how our help center works. In addition, you can go to our YouTube channel where we have walkthroughs about our screeners, how they work, and more information for you to learn about these tools. But first of all, go enjoy this new feature which gives you the capability to screen your watch list. This has been requested all over the world, and we know many of you who take the time to build these highly custom, specific, and powerful watch lists will benefit from this because now you can run them through the different screeners and narrow them down based on the specific parameters of your choice. So we hope you enjoy this new tool, and thanks for watching.